Hi, I'm here at the uh, JCAR warehouse clearance sale again, but uh, I thought I'd just wander down the road a bit and show you uh, where I used to work and actually um, the location of my first job because uh, yeah, I spent a good part, well, majority of my career um, in the Rydalmere area here. We're on Victoria Road here, which is a main uh, road leading from uh, the Sydney CBD out to the uh, western suburbs out here. And um, my old job, Tally's, is just down the road. So I thought, I mean, we won't be able to go in there, of course, but I will um, hopefully be able to show you also the building where I first got my first job back in late 1989, I think it is. So we're talking a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. All right, we're coming up on it now. And it uh, used to be, there's, there's the sign, there's the Tally's sign. And uh, it used to be readily identifiable because it used to have um, Australia's biggest flagpole out the front. Um, apart from the one on like on top of Parliament House or something and it was massive I think it was like 70 meters high or something and it was uh, absolutely enormous But it actually costs a lot of money. Here we are We're at uh, Tally's, but it wasn't always Tally's um, So there you go those gates weren't there when I was here so That's all that's all new but um, yeah, the flagpole used to be there but now the uh, flagpole is gone ski so um, yeah, they've only got a couple of small ones out the front now, but it used to um, cost a lot of money to maintain that. I think it was like uh, $70,000 a year, $80,000 a year or something like that. Anyway, um, tallies, I actually, uh, so we'll keep walking. There's nothing else to see here because I used to work down Clyde Street here, which is just on the corner. That was my first job. So anyway, I, um, I moved to this Rydalmere Tallies facility around uh, 1996 something like that I think so yeah that was a long time ago um, got to go back to the traffic lights but when I, I used to work at uh, GEC Marconi at Meadowbank um, which is a huge massive facility it's now all been uh, demolished I think almost all of it's demolished and now turned into residential neighborhoods and they still have a couple of the roads are named like uh, Faraday Road and you know other stuff like that so yeah here we go let's there's the uh, Aussie traffic lights designed by Lewis Chalice um, he's a famous um, audio guy but he um he designed those apparently and uh, I'll have to link in there's, there's a video on those which is really interesting but anyway, um, there's actually a tragic story about these uh, traffic lights here, actually. One of the electricians who used to work for Tally's at the time, I don't know if he was a contractor or full-time, um, I, I forget his name, but um, he was crossing at, I don't know if he was crossing at the intersection here, but it was like very close. And apparently he, um, I don't know if somebody ra ran the red light or whether or not he was legitimately crossing or whatever, but he was um, struck by a car and killed. He was going over to the servo over the other side of the road to pick up a packet of smokes um, and yeah um, it was a Lotus one of those little low Lotus cars and I saw it being towed away and yeah that was a horrible tragedy um, yeah that was the electrician who used to um, work at uh, Tally's here but anyway um, so yeah I, I better pay attention I don't want to uh, don't want to jinx it but yeah Victoria Road can get uh, quite busy and this isn't even peak hour. So yeah, it was a coincidence that I ended up working at uh, Tally's there because I was at Meadowbank at uh, GEC Marconi. And then GEC Marconi moved, or at least a part of <laughs> one day, our, our division anyway, moved um, into here. And I think it was GEC Marconi for a little bit. And then GEC Marconi was uh, bought out, or at least the uh, sonar division of GEC Marconi, which is what I was working on, the naval uh, sonar boys and that was bought out by Thompson Sintra Pacific to form if I've got this right Thompson Marconi Sonar so it became TMS Thompson Marconi Sonar and uh, then Thompson so it was I was working there 
for, and then uh, that was here at uh, Rydalmere. And then Thompson Marconi Sonar, they uh, became uh, Tally's. So, well, Tally's is a huge uh, con conglomerate and it became Tally's Underwater Systems. And then Tally's Underwater Systems was bought out by um, Surcell for a huge French conglomerate, Surcell Underwater Company. And so then it became Surcell and that was all in that building back there. But anyway, why I wandered down here, um, and yeah, so that was from 1996 to uh, when I left to go to um, Altium in 2007, six to something like that. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was this is actually my first job over the road here. My first job in 1989, the building is still there. This was, um, now it's um, Stowe, Australia. So it's um, I, Stowe, don't know who they are, but 10 to 12 Clyde Street. There it is. Um, this used to be, I'll cross over, got to look out for cars. I'll cross over and the building's still here. But this is my first job. So excited. Uh, electrical communication services. But this was uh, PACOM Data, Pacific Communications. And um, I was a repair, hired as a repair tech here. Um, to work on uh, Z80 based um, CCTV security systems, you know, for big stadiums and um, stuff like that. But yeah, that, that was, um, that was Pacom Data. So Pacific Communications, I spent maybe three years there. I used to take the uh, uh, train from out in the western suburbs out into um, Parramatta. Then I used to walk from Parramatta. Geez, that was a long walk, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> but you know, I, that's, that's the kind of stuff you did when you're a kid, you're excited. But yeah, that's, um, the Tallies is just across the road here. And then uh, JCAR is just a couple of doors down. They didn't come, um, JCAR came, I don't know, mid 2006, something like that. Um, their big warehouse was just down the road here. But yeah, for most of the time that wasn't there. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that where I got my first job. So that was 1989, I think. <laughs> Late 89, maybe, something like that. And then Tally's over the road from 96 onwards, I think, like that, until through like four different name changes. It was ridiculous. Um, until, uh, yeah, I moved to um, Altium. And there were a couple of other jobs in between there. Um, Key Corp and uh, other companies and, and some uh, contract work as well on the side. And when I was working at uh, Tally's actually, I was actually a contractor for a long, long time. For many years, I was a contractor. So yeah, um, it started out at GC Marconi as a three month contract or something like that. I was doing PCB layout and um, other stuff. And uh, that just turned into, oh, I was like a contractor for, oh gee, six, seven years, maybe before somebody realized that I was still contracting and I was still a contractor. They, they had like totally forgotten that I was a contractor. Everyone just assumed I was a full time. I think very few of the employees knew I was an actual contractor there. And they went, nah, we can't have this anymore. We're paying too much. Um, you're going full time or leaving. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. So I went full time there, but yeah, spent many, many years in that building. And the flagpole's gone, but the building's still there. And uh, today, the warehouse sale, I ran into some old uh, colleagues who, um, <laughs> who left there, uh, like I did, and then they're, um, they're back again. So yeah, that just happens a lot. They ended up back there. So yeah, it was really cool to run into some former colleagues. But there you go, Clyde Street, right on there. That was my first uh, job as a kid. Very excited. <laughs> and I think I spent three years there, something like that. So. Let's wander across the road. It is a green light. And we will wander back up to JCAR. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that little walk around. It was more for me than for you, <laughs> pretty much. I just uh, wanted to see if the old uh, PACOM data, Pacific Communications building was still there. And it is. And um, I believe they're, they're still going technically, although I don't think they make their own stuff anymore. And I actually saw them, I was driving through Melbourne, I was driving from the airport um, into the city and I saw a huge Pacific Communications PACOM sign. Um, so yeah, I do believe they're still going. 
and they've moved to um, yeah they've moved to Melbourne so anyway that was my first job there and there's a bus there you go if you want to see the bus aficionados that's a Sydney bus no workers workers headed off headed off early and there's our there you go there's the timetables pay with your opal card so anyway yeah i um spent a long time working around this area probably too long um yeah i should have <laughs> should have spread my wings a bit more but you know it was you know nice cushy job working with uh, mostly good people uh which i'd enjoyed but uh yeah so i eventually then moved to um Altium from here and that was i had to drive to french's forest every day oh god that was awful it was absolutely horrendous to drive and then they moved from uh, French's Forest to Belrose. That was a bit better, but I could leave after hours and stuff like that, um, like after peak hour. So no worries, but uh, yep, back to the J-Car Warehouse, which is moving. They're a family -owned, still a family owned business after the death of uh, tragic early uh, death of Gary uh, Johnston, who uh, founded it. And um, but it's still run by his wife and uh, kids, I believe. But they're moving to a uh, new uh, warehouse and um, they've got a separate uh, facility just for management and uh, stuff like that as well. But uh, yeah, we'll get a tour of that hopefully. That'll be cool, but there you have it. Right on here. Spent so many years here. Oh boy. And for sidewalk button aficionados, I just finish off with, we will eventually get the There we go. There we go, listen to that. And there you have it. I'll catch you next time.